You know, my husband and I just had our first child and we named him Asa. And I tell you what, even though he's only a couple months old, I know his cry from anyone else's. <laughs> and um, I know there's a lot of different theories out there on parenting and crying it out or not crying it out. But I tell you, in these early months, as soon as Asa cries, I, I meet with him. <laughs> as soon as he cries out, I, I, go, I go to comfort him. And I want to ask you if you know that God, the Father, is the very same way with you. It says in Isaiah 30, 19, that as soon as he hears you, he will answer you. God does not lay, delay in answering your prayers. And he does not delay in, in comforting you and coming to you when you're hurting. What would happen if we removed all of the laments in the Bible? We would miss an entire book of Lamentations. We would miss the Psalms of David. The majority of the Psalms are laments. We would miss Jesus' words in the New Testament. We would miss Paul's tears. We would miss the weeping prophet Jeremiah. We would miss Hannah's prayer and David's songs. And um, I think we would miss the heart of God. Can we go to God with our hurts and our celebrations? And do you have confidence that when you cry out, he will meet you? Praise be to God who has not rejected my prayer or withheld his love for me, it says in the book of Psalms 66. I want to encourage you that if your story is not good yet, God is not done. Pastor Louis Giglio told that to tens of thousands of college students, and I guarantee you there was at least one in that room who was in pain. I also want to give you hope that the pain one day will stop. God will deliver you from all of your troubles, it says in the book of Psalms. God meets us right where we are at and not where we pretend to be. And so I encourage you to stop faking fine because when one person stops faking fine, it gives permission for everybody else to do the same.